Welcome back. Back to school week here on Daybreak, a week dedicated to helping you relieve some of the stress that comes at the start of a new school year. So much to do. Yeah, today and we're taking the stress out of packing those school lunches. KTVA 11's Cassie Scher met with a nutritionist from UAA to get some quick and healthy lunch and snack ideas. Getting your kids back to school means getting back into those routines of early mornings, doing homework, and packing your kids' lunches. Talk a little bit more on what you should be packing your lunches with. I'm joined with Amy, a dietitian here at UAA. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So starting off, how important is it knowing what to pack for your kids for school? Well, I think it's important, you know, we have our kids are trying to make it through a long day of school and, you know, we want them to be successful and actually learning something while they're there. Um, so we all know that it's really important to make sure that they're getting fed properly. And those school lunches are really important to make sure that they're getting a nice balance of foods to make it through their entire day. And we have a large assortment of snacks that could be included for those kids' lunches. Can you tell me a little bit about that? So, you know, I think it's always important to make sure that we're able to find some things that you can just throw in easily because we don't want lunches to be take forever at night or in the mornings. Um, and so a variety of things to make sure that you're getting a little bit of protein, maybe some fruits and vegetables. So I love the string cheeses. Um, you know, they're, most kids like those, and that's a good source of protein that's very low fat. Um, there are bunch of dried you know like beef jerkies and things like that and then lots of Alaskans we have smoked fish and dried fish that you know kids really enjoy and you have three boys which means yeah. they eat a lot of food yes so what are you packing for them when it comes to the meals so meals you know we always think of the sandwich um, but I think that that's kind of that's pretty limiting so I always encourage parents to not forget about their leftovers to the containers you can really stick soups you can put pastas you can put anything that you made for dinner leftover chicken um, and tacos are a great way you know you can easily roll up a leftover taco um, and throw it in a baggie for, for an entree. So it doesn't just have to be lunch meat. When it comes to saving money while buying a lot of this food, I bought all of this for just less than $50. What are some of your tips to help save money but also give that healthy food for kids? One of the most important things is getting your kids involved in packing their own lunches. Mm -hmm. Kids are able to do this. I think parents, I think today we take on a lot of these responsibilities and we're running around frantic after work or in the mornings trying to do all of this and it just makes it you know, not fun, where kids actually really like to be involved in it. And I find that if they pick their foods, they're, that those foods are more likely to stay in their bellies and not make it into the trash can. Thank you so much for giving the tips today. And if you guys want any more information on how to pack some healthy meals and snacks for your kids, you can go to KTVA.com. Cassie Sherm, KTVA 11 News. Pretty good advice. Quick, simple. We have a lot of those things in the house. The kids tend to like. Mm -hmm most of them so if you can get into a flow find out what they will and won't eat because sometimes you pack something and the whole lunch will come back with them not the whole thing but a lot of it mm -hmm. it happens